Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be talking about some Walking Dead figures, a series 3 for the television show of action figures that uh, we'll be hitting. Actually, I'm not even sure when. Let's see. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say. It doesn't really say when they're supposed to hit. And the thing is, too, is that any dates that you can find online for when these are supposed to come out, McFarlane Toys constantly changes the dates. They push them back, they do this, they do that, they do weird things. So there's no way to know exactly, but uh, Series 2 should be out pretty soon, within the next month or so. Series 3, I think we can expect uh, either next year or maybe in, yeah, maybe the springtime next year or possibly even next um you know fall hopefully during the springtime we'll get these figures so this uh wave is pretty cool uh i had to show you the best first so uh obviously the best one is for in my opinion anyway merle dixon um you know obviously they couldn't show a prototype until now because you know they didn't want to spoil anything for the show and what he's going to look like and all that kind of stuff but we've gotten pictures now we know what uh merle's going to look like in this season uh, and obviously we've got a Daryl figure, so it makes sense to go with a Merle figure. I mean, it's definitely one of the characters that you would probably want to get. I'm definitely going to buy him. For me, uh, I'm sold the second I heard they're making a Merle figure. Uh, how close is likeness? How good is it? These pictures are not super high definition. Um, they're also not final product, so they could look a little bit different by the time they come out, which is often the case with McFarland Toys. However, um, you know, it's Merle. It's going to be awesome. Even if it doesn't look exactly like him, it's Merle. It's going to be great. You know, like you see, he's just, he's got such cool character design at this point. He's got his, uh, uh, M16, it looks like. You know, I think that's an M16, uh, assault rifle. And then he's got his other hand, which, how could he even use that if he's only got one hand? I don't even, it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> and then his other hand with his, uh, bayonet or knife attached to the end of it, which is super sweet. Um, a must for any, uh, you know, one-armed uh, survivor in a zombie apocalypse. Uh, ZA for short. Um, aside from that, this looks like the clothes he's wearing when I believe he knocks Andrea down in the TV series, although we haven't seen that yet. Uh, but I think that's what's probably going to happen. At least the trailer alludes to that. So, and it does look like that's what he's wearing. So it does, I think the likeness for this anyway, if this is close to... What we're going to see is pretty damn good. It looks like Merle. The hair color is about right, maybe a little bit too dark. The face is good. The scruff is good. The pants are good, nice and dirty at the bottom. And uh, he's got his pack with him on the back there. But uh, for me, the highlight is definitely going to be that right hand there. Very cool. Uh, so absolutely stoked to be getting a Merle figure. For me, this is a must-have. Definitely. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Okay, moving on next, we're going to take a look at Michonne. Okay, so we already got a Michonne from the comic book series that was released last year. Uh, and now we're going to be getting a television series Michonne of Denai Guerrera, um, who looks a lot like the Michonne from the comic books. Um, this version, though, is more like a lifelike, obviously realistic-looking uh, version. Does it look like a Denai? I, I'm, I don't know. I, it's kind of hard to tell from the pictures because they're not super high quality. Um, but from what I can see... It looks okay. It looks half decent. There's something wrong with the legs. Something about her thighs and her hips are weird to me. I don't know what it is, but it, they're just the shape of them look wrong to me. I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe the body mold or something. I don't know. It just looks weird. Uh, likewise, her elbows, if you can see her elbow joints there, those look weird to me too. They look really round and kind of bulkier than the rest. And it doesn't, for me, look smooth. Uh, it looks really chunky and weird. Um, her shoes are kind of unique looking. Are they like boots with the with the front flap down or something? I don't even know what that is. Uh, the pants look okay. The color's decent. The the weathering's okay. I like the look of the um, over, I don't know, what is that called? Like uh, over coat type thing or over uh, sheath or, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I'm at a loss for words right now, but you know what I'm talking about. Nice and gray and black with the, um, you know, sort of like the, the dark under, under it. So I'm sure she could wear that and that would look pretty cool. That's probably how I would display her. Um, is this a must have? If you have a comic book version of her, I don't know if I would even pick this one up. Me personally, if I can find it for like $14, $15, I'll probably buy it, but I don't know. Uh, cause I do have the other version. Um, but Maybe at this point, if they're going to keep releasing the TV series uh, figures, which looks like they will, I'm not sure about the comic series, if those are canceled or what they're going to do. But um, 
I might pick it up. I don't know. I guess it's situational for me. It depends. It looks okay. Hopefully the final product looks better. But like I said, there's some weird parts there. So it also depends how badass she is in the TV series. Because if she's like, uh, you know, Merle Dixon or Daryl badass, then yeah, I'll probably buy it. All there is to it. Okay, uh, moving on to the next one. Let's look at some zombies. Okay, so here we have one of Michonne's uh, walker buddies that she uses to mask her scent in the ZA um, or ZA. Um, pretty cool looking figure, I think. Uh, the I like how they've got the attachable arms. <laughs> and is that a mouth in the middle? I can't really tell. So maybe you could attach those back and have her, I don't know, chop them off or something or, you know, tie, tie them up to her, to her back. Which is pretty cool because the other one did not, you know, have zombies to attach. So I think that would be kind of a cool display to have her with the zombies attached. However, if you're going to display her with the rest of the group, she's probably not going to keep those those walkers with her when she joins Rick's group eventually or in Woodbury or wherever. I don't think they're going to last that long. Um, also comes with that big bag, which is kind of like bag of guns and stuff which uh, I don't know what that's for, if maybe Michonne carries that around. I guess we'll see from the TV series. Obviously, we don't know yet. But I think this uh, the figure looks spot on to me. It looks a lot like the pictures that I've seen. The pants are cool. The the arms, like the fact that there are no arms, <laughs> looks cool as well, too. And the rib cage is definitely very cool. Um, so I assume anyone who buys the Michonne would probably want to get this one and, uh, and the next one. Let's take a look at the next one. All right, here it is, uh, his... Uh, her other buddy, I think one's a boyfriend, one's a friend, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember exactly, I always forget, but something like that. Doesn't matter too much since they probably won't last that long anyway, but um, still cool for the effect. So this one is really a companion piece, just like the other one, just different sculpt for the actor, of course. If you, um, oh, they could also carry her bags too. That's, a, that's another thing too they could be useful for. She could travel around, they could carry her stuff. Makes sense, makes sense. So again, uh, maybe just a cool display piece to have them going with the Michonne figure. Um, looks, looks pretty cool, pretty cool. And finally, we have the last one from Series 3, which is the Autopsy Zombie. Now, this one, I believe, is from Season 2. Oh, kill me. I can't remember the episode. Uh, it was around Chupacabra or Secrets or one of those where Daryl... No, am I wrong? Yeah, I'm wrong. It was around the beginning of the season. Uh, probably in the, pre yeah, it was in the premiere, wasn't it? Where Daryl and Rick got the zombie and perform an autopsy to see if it's eaten Sophia. I think that's the premiere. Yeah, it probably is. Um, for me, this figure is just like another zombie to add if you're going to like build up a army of zombies, like an army of walkers for them to fight. So that's cool to have him for that. But, um, in terms of him versus another zombie... He's not the most, for me, he's not the most memorable zombie from the show. Uh, and I'll only buy him if, like I said, you know, I decide I want to buy some more walkers, some more zombies. I might, I might not. Anyway, that's pretty much all my thoughts on the Series 3 of the TV series of figures. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, tell me what you think about each figure and uh, whether or not you're going to be buying them or not. And how stoked are you? we got like 10 days left. I'm stoked. Later, guys. Uh, peace out. Peace out.